When most people think about bees, they think about our social species, like the honeybee and the bumblebee. But actually there are over 240 other species of bee in the UK, and these are our solitary bees. Solitary bees can be split into two rough groups, depending on where they like to nest. Those that like to nest in the ground, and those that take opportunities in cavity spaces. Two commonly found in the garden, the red masonry bee and the leafcutter bee, are prolific pollinators. A single one of these species can do as much pollination as 120 honeybees. If you want to get them into your garden, you're going to need to put up one of these, a bee hotel. And today, I'm going to show you how you can make one. So the first thing you need to do is to make your box. Now I've made mine out of something called marine ply. And marine ply is really good because it's super durable in wet weather and it will last for a good number of years without rotting away. When thinking about how big to make your box, there's only really one thing you need to think about and that's the depth. And really I'd recommend something around 15 centimeters. But for the height and the width, it's completely up to you. In this example, this is 20 centimeters by 30 centimeters. Once you've decided how big your box is going to be, you just need to cut out the different panels. I've got two for my sides, one for my back piece and two for my roof, and then two smaller pieces which are going to be my top and my bottom piece. Once you've cut them out, simply drill them together and then you've got a lovely box to fill with content. To fill your box I'd recommend using three different materials, small logs, any offcuts of wood that you can find and bamboo canes. And what you'll need to do is to chop these to the same depth as your box. This is relatively easy for stuff like your logs and your offcuts of wood, but for bamboo it can be a bit more tricky. My top tip, if you can go to a supermarket or any garden center and find a bamboo cane fencing, these are brilliant. They're all cut to the same size already and it's just a case of taking it off the wire mesh and then you've got lots of bamboo to use in your bee hotel. Once you've got your contents, the next thing you'll need to do is to start to drill holes into it. You can do this with using just simple wood drills and anything between two millimeters and 10 millimeters is perfect. Drill a variety of different holes into each of the ends and the key thing really is making sure that they're nice and smooth and clean. And you can do that by making sure that you pull out any of the wood chippings that are in size or if you need to, getting a piece of sandpaper and just rubbing it over the entrance hole to smooth it out. When filling your box, there really is no hard and fast rules. Just make sure that the contents are nice and securely compacted and that you've got a nice distribution of the materials. Once you're happy with the design and layout of your bee hotel and all the contents are nice and securely inside, you need to find a sunny spot in the garden for it as it's going to maximise the chance of it being used by solitary bees. A southern facing wall and keeping it about one meter or so high off the ground is probably best. And if it's in a really exposed area, then putting on a roof is also a good idea, as that will shield it from any rain. If you decide that you're going to make a bee hotel, then make sure you let us know by tweeting it to hashtag MyWildCity or adding it to our interactive map on our website on avonwildlifetrust.org.uk.